I wave to you. <laughs> That's Coach Craig. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Claire. I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Haley. I'm a sophomore. Hi, I'm Ruth. I'm a freshman. Hi, I'm Tessa. I'm a freshman. Hi, I'm Toria, and I'm a sophomore. Okay, so welcome. This is our University Commons. So over here, come come with me. <laughs> we have our common grounds. Oh, it's bright. Which is essentially a Starbucks. So you can get a coffee, a smoothie. I like their strawberry lemonade. You can get some breakfast. You can also do homework over here. And then this is the think tank. It's some people's favorite place to do homework. And then if you follow me up here, we have the first floor of the library. Those cubbies over there have dry erase walls, so that's nice for study. These are the printers, and this is the computers that, like, you can send to the printers. We're a green campus, so that helps limit paper waste. Hi, my name is Dennis Jackson. I'm on Millican faculty. There are magical bookshelves, and they move to get to the different aisles. It's pretty cool. This is a silent area where you can work on homework. I tend to come up here a lot with my roommate Ruth. You can just study in a quiet area if you like. This is our cafeteria. <laughs> it's like our late night grill. You can buy stuff if you're like hungry after dinner and you don't have snacks in your dorm. Um, this is also, this is like where you actually get the food. So, I think it's more clear. Oh, we can ask people around that we can go in. Like more basic foods here, like there's like chicken patty sandwiches, burgers, turkey burgers, fries. We have curly fries here, which are really good. And we have like cheese and other assortments for your burgers. Um, over here, we have milk. We have chocolate milk, which is really good, especially after runs. Um, cereal, peanut butter. Here we have the kitchen. This is where we have like our more like homemade meals. Like there's usually like a rice dish. They have meatloaf, which is really good. Um, they'll make lasagna. They have like a lot of different options. This is like our salad bar. We have like a few different types of um, dressing. There's usually a pasta salad. <laughs> and we have like, yeah, the salad bar. It's really fun making like different types of salads. You can have soups over here. There's like always some type of soup. <laughs> um, this is our pizza station with our brick oven, which is really oh. fancy and they're always super good. And they honestly taste like pretty homemade. This is our like um, sandwich station. If you want to make a sandwich, if you're not feeling anything else, they always have like homemade like chips and stuff that are always really good. And then there's like this like butter and bread station that's really good and then over here this is our drink the hot chocolate we have coffee and iced tea juice i always go for the juice and our cookies of course and ice cream soft serve and then this is where all of the rest of the desserts are um, that i go here every day this is our science building if you're a science major this is where you'll be most of the time all the professors are super cool, super understanding. They have really good relationships with their students. I love them all, and it's where I'm at all the time. You know, we have an observatory up there. I think we have the second largest in, uh, like on campus. Now. And we also have a greenhouse that's all the way up there. This is the business building. It's called Scoville. If you're a business major, that's where you'll be. I don't really go in there because I'm not a business major, but they have computers open basically all the time yeah 24 hours you could do homework there and yeah so this is kfac kirkland fine arts center we have a uh, theater in there so if you're in any type of production more than likely it'll happen in there um, a lot of the stuff that we have during first week happens in that building as well it's super cool so this is our pilling chapel we have a catholic mass there every sa sunday at noon and then there's also they have choir rehearsals in here as well and other music stuff this is our quad we have a lot of fun here there's a lot of activities we can do 
especially in the warm weather. Our new building is the Center for Theater and Dance, and so all of our like theater and dance students are super excited about it. <laughs> so this is our fan volleyball court. A lot of us played at the beginning of the year when we first got here, and a lot of the guys played like spike ball over there too. And then we have a little squirrel right there. He's just chilling, eating some nuts. Yeah. Okay, I'm on. Here we go. Coach Craig Craft here. This is Griswold Physical Education Center. It is a multi-purpose facility. Um, in the bottom floor, we have the athletic training center with the great athletic training staff that will always take care of you, whether it's prehab, rehab, injury prevention, you name it. They're very, very uh, equipped people. Griswold Gym is uh, the home of our volleyball and basketball programs. And we previously had a pool in this building, but it's no longer there. It's going to get renovated. And um, things are good in the athletic world. I'll point this one building out to you, too. This is our old gym. This used to actually be a basketball gym. That's going to be taken out. And we're going to have a brand new uh, locker room, weightlifting, lots of cool cardio stuff, all that good stuff. So things are good. How we doing? My name is uh, Coach Dylan. I'm the assistant men's and women's uh, cross country and track and field coach here at Milliken. Um, we are currently standing at Frank M. Lindsay Field, um, where both football and track and field practice and compete. Um, the surface here was just redone about four years ago. Um, it's a beautiful place to work out. Um, got a great, great background of campus over here. Um, yeah, it's a great place to be. It's beautiful. We got throws events over here. Uh, both. Both long jump and triple, uh, jump hits, hammer, weight, shot. Uh, some of our throws are there doing some practice with the jab right now. Um, and then over here, right to my right, uh, is basketball, AT, uh, so locker rooms. Um, yeah, really great facility, really, really great place to, to train. I wanted to introduce you guys to our throwers because it's natural for distance runners and throwers to be best friends. So we love our throw squad here at Milliken. Woo! And we have our lovely throws coach over here, Woo! Coach Casinio. Woo! <laughs> this is our softball field where you play softball. Woo! Woo! Our team's pretty good and they're fun to watch, so I'm excited to watch them this spring. So earlier I showed you KFAC, Kirkland Fine Arts Center. This is the shop where they make all of the, prop, the props and the stage and stuff. So if you're a theater major, you may have to work in there at some point. This is one of our dorms, it's called Bolson Hall. We also have our bookstore here where like if you order your books for class, they'll be shipped there so you go and pick them up. I think they're sweet style, so you'll have like, like two rooms to share a bathroom. We also have a little quad area you can like hang out with your floor. So if you go on to Milliken's webpage in the archives of World War II things, fun fact that this didn't used to be here and these used to be corridors, I'm pretty sure, back in World War II. So all the men that were helping with the war were here, while a lot of their female counterparts who were not involved at the war were over here. And I'm pretty sure I read at one point in time that females had to get permission to do anything with the males that were over here. But I could be wrong about some of it, but there's more stuff online. Go! So these are our two other dorms. This is Aspen. This is an all-male dorm. And then this is Blackburn, which is mainly an all-female dorm. But this year we have like an overrun of guys. So the third floor is now boys. But next year it might be different. And then in the middle is also public safety. I know Aspen and Blackburn, they're both community style. So there's one bathroom for the whole floor. I live in Blackburn. I absolutely love it. I love my floor. We're like a little family, and it's like really nice having that community style. There's also, there's a lounge in Blackburn, and probably in Ashton, I don't really know, where you can like go hang out and do homework. There's vending machines, and they just put a water fountain so you can get some filtered water for your water bottles. And public safety is also here, which is really convenient if you get locked out of your room. So they most likely like, they, they'll come fast if you get locked out, basically. Yeah, they're really nice. And then, oh wait, and another fun fact. So Milliken has these underground tunnels that I've heard multiple reasons. One, they use wiring to get from building to building. And two, I heard they were bunkers during the war. And rumor has it, I don't think we can go in because we get in trouble if we do. But rumor has it that the, the basement of Aston is one way to access these underground tunnels. Hi, I'm 
I'm Skylar. I'm on the track team. I'm a jumper. I do long and triple jump. And right behind me is Schilling, and that's where you're going to have most of your general ed class classes. I don't know how to speak. Uh, that includes your foreign languages, your Twitter class, and a bunch of other classes like that. Oh, more track hey guys. I'd like to introduce you to our high jump um, teammate here, Teddy. He is the most recent CCIW high jump champion. Wow. Yeah. This is where me and my roommate Ruth live for the semester or for the year. But then this is the athletic building, and then there's two other ones. They're called New Halls. So there's a New Hall three, and that is the other dorm building. And New Hall four is a percussion house, so they like they're able to use, do like drums and stuff in there. Follow along, we're gonna take a little tour into the athletics building. This is where the milk and well, the coaches have their offices. So, on it's a heavy door, and us distance runners do a lot of weightlifting, so that's not a problem. <laughs> we have to leave the poles in the hallway, in the stairwell, because there's not a lot of places that can house poles, they're long. In the way. My office is on the second floor. And sometimes when you're walking around campus, you find an old chair that somebody's trying to throw out, and you say, We can do chair pulls on this and get hamstrings really, really strong. So you just steal it. So that's here. It needs fixed. I'll fix that soon. But this is my office here. It's a little bit messy, but um, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of artifacts. Now I'm a history major from college. Um, this is one of my very special pictures I want to show you. This is Lance Brooks. He is a 2007 grad of Millington University. He was an Olympian. He won the 2012 Olympic trials in the discus and represented the United States not only at the 2012 London Games, but also in the 2011 and 2013 World Championships. So we've got some pretty famous people around here. No big deal. So this is the workout center. Um, the community uses this. They have treadmills they'll use when it's really cold, bikes, ellipticals, weight lifting stuff, and a little bit of everything, and some motivational. Hi, I'm Joyce Lynn. I'm a junior psychology major. Um, this is our indoor track. We'll have all our workouts here um, throughout the winter and in the indoor track season. Uh, there's a weight room downstairs and upstairs. Um, all the Decatur community can come here, so you'll meet a lot of the community members who are really nice and they're really supportive uh, with our track workouts and how we do as a team. Um, yeah, this is where we get swole, like Coach said earlier. They hate it. 